Hey guys, so today we're back in my garage again, looking at both the operators with the foam padding in it. You guys haven't heard this opener in operation with the foam padding in. Nothing has really changed on these openers. The only really update I really did on them is putting the foam padding inside the opener and putting white lithium grease, rail grease on the rail again and on the inner trolley because I said why not when I did the opener do that again. So. I won't be touching these openers until we get the doors replaced, if we ever decide to get the doors replaced. So this might be a final update video in case something pops up or something random happens or if I need to upload something I will. So let's run this garage door first. Still running smoothly, much more quieter since I did all the little updates. These are what the outside of the doors look like. If these doors didn't have the big huge dents in them, top, back, top of the panel being all cracked because Pierce owner was an idiot, didn't put the proper struts in, and metal casing on the doors are destroyed. He used wood trim and um we have really crappy weather seal this is like the stuff you would buy at home depot this is the thin stuff you want to buy the thick stuff and what i mean by when he installed this wood is because he was so damn lazy he didn't put the metal all the way to here and this metal weather strip would normally hide this but he was being lazy and he did a half job and i'm stuck with this product and you can see there's gaps up here because the guy didn't do the framing right. So if we ever redo the garage, I'm gonna be tearing out everything. The framing, the metal, the door, the opener, the angle iron, everything. And we're redoing everything. These are gonna be, be upgraded to two by sixes around the whole entire door. Same with the other door. Everything's gonna get done right on this door. Since I've done all the updates, everything's been running flawlessly. It's up to code, it's up to date. The thing I did in the hole in the wall, everything's holding up good. Let's run this door down. So this door and this door is virtually quiet. You can barely hear it in the bedrooms. Now, since we've ever first moved here, both these openers were really jacked up. Both of the light lens, all cracked, yellow, no light bulbs, and I believe this one had a bird's nest in it. This one had light bulb issues. It had vibration issues. That one had vibration issues. The door arm on this door used to go all the way up and hit the bracket right here. The door bracket on this door used to be way lower emergency releases would be up to here they were all faded and with this one it was dragging on top of the car so it could have gotten stuck inside the crack of the suv and pulled down the door on accident so everything on these doors are done right the wiring is neatly on top of the rail so if these doors ever did get replaced they would get getting me getting replaced with CHI or Clopay from Home Depot, all depending on budget wise. And it's probably gonna be the last thing on the list. So these openers are gonna be in here for a, probably a couple more years. So that's probably the only things I got to say about these doors and openers. And whoever originally installed them did a decent job, but really just half-ass work. And you always put detail in your work, no matter what you do with your life. So let's run this other door with my LiftMaster Chamberlain Security Plus. Let's close it.
All right, guys. So that's about what I can think of for this video. And um, I don't know how long I'm going to be updating another video again. I've been really busy with a lot of things going on right now. I got some work maybe across the street where I live. And um, I just got done fixing his door too. His emergency relief handle was upside down. The chain was sagging. He had a missing light lens and a missing sprocket cover. So I'm going to see if I can talk to him so I can get a video of what I did to his door. The only thing it needs for his door now is the motor needs to be cleaned up. The wiring needs to be redone because it's like hanging like spaghetti like this one used to be. Well, both of them. And um, then there's a, oh, there's a little trick I want to teach you guys. So if your garage door is popping, look on the outside of your garage door and where these creases are. Look where there's a dent because when it's garage door opens on the last panel, it pops. So there's two signs you want to look for. Being cracked in the center, like this one is, or look for a dent exactly where the two panels meet. Because his door, there's a dent and it pops at that spot because you can see where the black smudge is. So I'm going to see if I can fix that for him. But he's running low on money too because he's doing a lot of home maintenance. So that's kind of his last concern for now. Both these doors are working absolutely perfect. The foam padding has worked really well. There's really nothing else to do to these openers. And um, everything's up to code to the finest detail. And um, there's nothing really much else to do to these openers now. They can be here for another 20 years and they wouldn't have any issues besides lubricating the doors once a year. And maybe replacing parts if needed well the torque master wouldn't even last maybe five years because i don't know how old those are probably original 20 years old if anything breaks on these doors it would be the torque masters because they've been there for 20 years these openers can keep going for another 20 or 30 years so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe leave a like and thank you for watching